CAR T cells uh, represent a true revolution uh, in hematology, but I'm convinced they will also uh, be used in solid tumors. And when we look over the last five years, we started with autologous CAR T cells in uh, pediatric and young adult uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia being approved first. Then we have uh, the anti-CD19 uh, autologous CAR T cells approved in uh, lymphomas. And initially it was uh, DLBCL, but later on we had mantle cell lymphoma, follicular lymphomas, and other entities. And more recently, actually, we had CAR T cells approved in multiple myeloma, in relapse refractory multiple myeloma. The first uh, product uh, and construct was the uh, ID cell product, which was approved by FDA in 2021, based on the uh, KARMA uh, trial. But very recently, actually, early March 2022, we've seen the approval by FDA of another construct, a different construct, namely Silta cell. And both ID cell and Silta cell are targeting BCMA as an antigen, the B cell maturation antigen, which is really a very attractive candidate when it comes to uh, multiple myeloma. What's really uh, interesting uh, is about the results achieved with uh, Silta cell, and this is based on the Cartitude 1 trial. 97 patient, uh, if I remember well, uh, highly advanced patient, relapse refractory patient who received a median of six lines of prior therapies, including a significant proportion of patients who are triple class exposed, triple class refractory, pentadrug exposed, pentadrug refractory. And despite being in a such advanced status, Actually, the response rate is quite impressive, up to 98%, including more than 80% stringent CR. And such high level of response rate is going to translate, despite a relatively short follow-up, into a clear advantage in terms of progression-free survival, uh, because we are roughly a little bit less than two years of median PFS in the whole population, and this has not yet reached the median PFS in the patient who achieved the stringent CR. So I think the arrival, the approval of this new CAR T cell construct, Silta cell in multiple myeloma, is going uh, to add and to bring a lot of added value to the other available options, uh, different drugs, different antibodies, but also the other uh, CAR T cell contract, ID cell, which is already approved, and will allow, I think, the myeloma community to further improve uh, the outcome of these relapse refractory patients. But in my opinion, it will not take long before uh, these CAR T cells uh, are going to be used uh, uh, in earlier lines of treatment, similar to what we have seen actually in lymphomas. And uh, we already know that there are trials uh, comparing uh, traditional uh, combinations in myeloma versus CAR T cells, or even challenging uh, autologous transplant with CAR T cells. So uh, this is a really uh, very exciting uh, era for all of us involved in the myeloma field.